A helpful hint to bleed breaks is the use of an empty clear plastic water bottle and a clear plastic hose that will fit tightly over the bleeder valve. The bottle will catch the excess brake fluid and keep the air from going back into the lines. Pour a small amount of brake fluid into the plastic bottle. Take the plastic hose and attach to the bleeder valve and place the other end in the plastic bottle so that the end of the hose is below the level of the brake fluid. This will allow you to see air bubbles coming out and keep air from re-entering the caliper. To bleed your brakes, follow your actuator instructions to pump the master cylinder. Our video shows a tie-down engineering model 66 actuator. Yours may be the same or similar. The object is to create pressure in the system and pump brake fluid through the system and force any air out of the lines. Always use new, clean DOT3 brake fluid only. Check the reservoir of the actuator often to keep the fluid level high as you are pumping fluid out of the system. Usually it takes three or four pumps and a hold on the last pump to create the needed pressure. Loosen the bleeder valve one quarter to one half a turn to allow the brake fluid to escape. Repeat the pumping until no air bubbles come out of the hose. Bleed the opposite wheel to complete the installation. Disc brake installation. Check the fluid level in the actuator. Fill, if required, to the specifications of the actuator manufacturer. Road test the trailer in an area with little or no traffic. Recheck fluid levels and all brake hose connection points for leaks. Check all nuts and bolts for tightness. Recheck, recheck, recheck. Lug nuts on the wheels for proper torque. Always rinse off your trailer and brakes after submerging in brackish or salt water. Should you need additional information, please contact Tie Down Engineering, Atlanta, Georgia.